Hey guys, welcome, it's Michael from Starstreams back with another video and today we're going to be looking at Stranded Deep and how to make fuel. Yes, it's a bit of a medium to end game this. But as you can see, I've got some uh, I've got some fuel running. We're going to top it up with some uh, potatoes. While I do this, I just wanted to mention if you can please, please do consider hitting that thumbs up button. It really helps. I'm going to put some in in the fuel still there and why not subscribe for lots more stranded deep content we also have a discord in the description below come and join the chat anyway that's the admin out of the way ah oh, let's go and make a fuel still so the first thing you want to do let's pick a let's pick a space where should we go bats stop it so i think what we need to do is i'll build it here just for now so the first thing we need to do then is grab ourselves a fire fire is forward one two three four uh let's put it yeah let's put it here oh um pop there we go the next thing we need to do is have a fire pit no problem that's uh three stone now you do need to be leveled up some of this next stuff so uh, you'll need to grind a little bit to level up and then you can unlock this next we've got under crafting nope it's under there there we go under crafting fuel steel now this is pretty big so i think you need to be level four or something for this i'm gonna pin it on the left hand side of the screen i need a fuel can two lashings four sticks two clay and uh two uh planks i want to say planks yeah okay so let's go get those items well i've got some jerry cans here so i'll grab one of these okay lovely uh two lashing okay i just so happen to have a pile of lashing here one two uh four sticks again it's very very intensive one two three four two planks uh oh have we not got any planks mm. that's a problem okay no problem at all i'm on it i'm going to get an axe i'm going to chop these logs over here and we'll convert them into he will convert them into planks. I saw this downed tree and I was like, oh, okay. There you go. Grab that log, grab that log, grab that log. Let's pull that in a bit so we don't forget about it. Okay, now I do have a log table here. Somewhere. There it is. So if I'd go over here and do a quick, there you go, plank plank there we go i might as well do another plank for spare there we go i'll drop one of the planks <laughs> okay what do we need next two clay i've got clay here we go one two and we need the stones have i got stones no i haven't got stones there we go i think three is creates the stone rock pile there we are oh i've already done that i've already done that i didn't need that okay and now we can create the fuel steel we can rotate using q or e in this case i want to put it back there our fuel steel is done so like always we have to light the fire so let's get some kindling I've literally got a pile of kindling over there. I don't know why I grabbed this one. That's okay. Let's get this fire going. There we are. Now we need some potatoes. I'll, sh I'll go through how you need how you get potatoes in a minute. But for now, I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four potatoes. We're going to put them in. One, two, three, four. And what's going to happen is at the back it's going to produce the fuel and you'll need another jerry can to transfer it and then that's it now how do i get potatoes 
you need to farm. So you see these these things all around here that I've got. This is a, a kiwi, not, not kiwi plant, a kawawa plant. These are yuki trees. I don't actually have a potato on this island. I don't have a potato plot. So let's make a potato plot. Uh, you can make them on wood or iron, like here, corrugated scrap. Let's get a couple of these. Um, let's have a go over to the farming. Oh, a hoe is required. That's fine. I've got one over here somewhere. Right there. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put it here. Uh, farming again. So you whack this down here like that. Clear it. There we go. Now, get yourself a potato. You can find them on any island, these potatoes. They're usually around cave areas or cliff areas. And I'm going to plant where it says potato corrugated farming plot. You can see that it needs some water. No problem at all. We can go and get some water. If it storms or rains, because it's corrugated iron, it will, it will maintain that water from the, whatever falls from the sky. So I've got a water bottle here. Let's put some water in it. OK, that's full up. There you go. That'll do. Yeah, have about three or four of these and just keep transferring the potatoes into each one. Don't let them die. They die if they don't get enough water and they'll keep growing every 48 hours that you can pick and either put straight into the fuel uh, still or you can stockpile them like I've been doing in here. So you can see here, this has produced uh, half a can now of fuel and uh, that's doing well. And then this one over here will be producing as well. What can I use fuel for? Well, mainly for the engines on the boats, on the on the rafts. I guess however many fuel stills you have, you need double plots. The, the beauty of this is as well, that if you get really hungry, you can eat the potatoes as long as they're not spoiled, which these are spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. You can still use spoiled to produce the fuel. In fact, it's better to use spoiled to produce the fuel because then you're not wasting food. Thanks very much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Check out some of my other how-to videos. There's beginner, intermediate and expert ones out there. One of them at the moment I've just finished is how to build a roundhouse. I'm still doing this. This is a work in progress. So check out that video. Uh, I'll put a link up in the corner right now. Check out that video. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care. So long and bye bye.